It's been a year in the making, but finally a local filmmaker and his eco-conscious companion are ready to release their long-awaited documentary, The Paddler Movie. We had the opportunity to film in Tofino four different times, uh, the Okanagan Valley and a few other places. Uh, shortly after um, that we did a successful Kickstarter campaign with the help of the community and people all over the world actually donated to, to help uh, complete our film. And um, now we've completed the editing, the audio, and uh, we're ready to have our first premiere for it. Bob Purdy, the star of the film, started out as someone who just wanted to change the way we live on the planet through his campaign, Paddle for the Planet, where, rain or shine, he takes his sump out on the water. Now, after 1,485 days of stand-up paddleboarding, Purdy has been given the perfect medium to spread his message thanks to Missler. It didn't really register with me that we would sort of reach critical mass at some point and people would start, you know, being attracted to what we're doing. So it's really bizarre to my brain to walk down the street and be recognized, for example. It's just, uh, it hasn't really computed yet. Purdy believes the Paddler movie will tell the story of water and hopes his message of changing the way we live on the planet will reach the audience. So we're hoping to educate people about the challenges for water, uh, what water means to us, what we're going to have to do to send healthy water into the future. So if we can get to people and get them motivated, get them to take some action along those lines, that would be a total win for me. This is Missler's second film and he'll be going on to produce a fiction feature in the coming year. I've already started uh, pre-production for another dramatic feature film that I want to do called The Darkest Tide, which is about two rival surfers growing up on uh, Vancouver Island. The Paddler movie will premiere January 24th, starting at 6 p.m. at the Kelowna Community Theatre. Purchase tickets online at www.dcdproductions.ca or at the Centre for Arts and Technology. Locally owned and operated, Bacaro Kitchen will host an after party. A big part of what we do here at Bacaro is sort of our best to support local artists and uh, obviously filmmakers. And, uh, you know, Carrie's a great guy, a um, uh, big fan of the Canadian surfer. Um, one of our own, actually, Dave Simpson, was. Uh, in that movie, um, did a little stunt on a surfboard, some flair. But uh, you know, I think it just it, it makes sense to us. It's a good cause. I, it's going to shed a lot of light on a lot of environmental issues that I think we have. And uh, in my honest opinion, I think uh, it's going to open some eyes, and people need to to listen. You know. And you can find Bacaro at 231 Bernard Avenue. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.